Welcome to a new video. I am eating. <laughs> Obviously. We have uh, some pork chop moment, a broccoli moment, some eggs with a little bit of cheese moment, and um, <clears throat> I swallowed wrong. I just want to say, keto is honestly, I actually like it. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to, but it's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. And I noticed that it's actually making me like meat more. Just saying. Also, in one of my vlogs, I was like, you can't be keto and be vegetarian. You can, but it's hard. Um, let me chew. The reason why I mentioned that is because I wanted to be vegetarian. It's something I've talked about with Feline. I can't even tell you how many times countless and it's like i was getting closer and closer to that and then all of a sudden it's like be on keto because you need to be also i caught a message from someone on instagram which made me feel like kind of more accepting of this way of eating they were like don't think of it as a diet think of it as something medical and just the way they worded it i wish i would have like saved the message or something it made so much sense because keto is a medical diet like that's the reason why it was invented at first we eat broccoli and eggs together anybody what? <laughs> Such a weird combo. it tastes bomb though it's so so good oh yeah i just want to give you guys an update i actually enjoy keto <laughs> you would have never thought that those words would come out of my mouth ever um i haven't gotten any of that like keto candy or keto like you know like atkins or like there's like other things like keto bombs i haven't had any of that have i thought about it obviously like i am someone who enjoys candy who enjoys sweets who i i just like those things but i haven't bought any so i still have not drank soda which has been very sad for me. I know a lot of people who do keto also drink diet soda, but like with lipedema, diet soda kind of reacts the same way as regular soda supposedly. So I just don't even want to go there. Um, I'm not saying I'm never going to drink it because you guys know me. Anyways, I'm going to keep eating my bomb ass food and I'm going to stop rambling. Bye. Okay, so we're actually about to leave, but I want to try my new lip stuff I got from Ulta. It's the NYX Filler Instinct Miami Nights. That's the color. Pink is more so how I like my lips to look when I'm wearing like an all black outfit, but that's okay. Ooh. She's like exactly what I wanted. Have you guys seen those TikToks of those people who like have two different types of like skin tones? will wear the same lipstick, same color. They literally just pass it to one another so it's not like anything different. And it looks completely different on different skin tones. It is the craziest thing. Uh, but this is how it looks on my skin tone. I personally love this, so recommend. And it feels really good. All right, so we're at five below and I dropped my camera, so hopefully uh, we're good still. We found these super cute uh, doormats. So we're gonna get one for the front door and the back door. Well, they had their music playing so loud, but not gonna lie, they had like Miley Cyrus. I usually let cars go by. I don't know if you guys are like that too, but it's because I walk kind of slow, especially with my ankle. But people always let me go. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I just, I always want them to go. I don't know. Okay. Is that my anxiety? I don't know. They had music playing. I wanted to vlog for you guys, but we'll do like a little haul. <laughs> Sorry. Feline is so cute. Feline is goals. What are you doing? Hi. We just got home. I'm going to give you guys a haul, but I need to sweep out here. 
There's our doormat. Isn't that a cute doormat? And then look at this. This is why our blinds are messed up. Kiki! Do you guys see her? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> there she is. Oh my God, this needs clean too, ma'am. So this right here is bird poop. We actually have a nest. This nest was made maybe a year and a half ago and birds still live in it. So I just leave it because you know, that's their home. All right, Feline, she's literally humping me. Okay, so we got some water. I only took a small drink, but I was thirsty. Um, what else did we get? Oh my God, my necklace is attached. Hold on. So I got this super cute, stop. She's rubbing my booty, babe. So I got this necklace, it says baby girl. I thought it was so cute. Feline wants to add candy canes to her tree. And I said, hell yeah. I actually used to do that when I was a little girl. Um, I lived with my parents and we would decorate the tree. So she got some of this shea butter shave cream by the brand EOS. Oh yeah, she got one of these Naruto surprise keychains that we will open up for you guys. She got some hair ties. And then last but not least, this is multi-purpose sticks, but I will be using them as eyeliners um, in the brand Wet n Wild. This really pretty green color. The color is called Green On Me. And then this one is Poppy, Poppy Lar. <laughs> so freaking beautiful and then look at this blue wow it's called blue la la oh so that is our little haul and i got a few other things for uh some people it's a surprise okay oh my goodness <laughs> she has the zoomies <laughs> the zoomies such a sweetie such a babes. Get her a toy. Let's do this little fella. <gasps> <Get it! laughs> <Get it! laughs> there. <laughs> She's so cute. Okay, so we're finally gonna open this. It's been a few hours actually, since I did the haul. We're actually about to go to uh, Walmart because I have to get my medicine because I saw my psychiatrist today. Oh my God, that's the one that I wanted you to get. Corona. Actually, I didn't even know there was that one. <laughs> I just wanted you to be excited for it. It's baby corn. Oh, wait, there's 12 of them. We should have a goal of where you have to get all 12. We should have like a little collection. I want a little collection. No, this one's the cute one, though, I feel like. That's why I'm glad you got it. <laughs> I think this is my favorite. Wow. Wow. It's going on my keys. But yeah, we're about to go to Walmart. Um, I saw my psychiatrist today. I actually have a new one because the one I was seeing just decided not to work there anymore. So. Love that for me um but i actually like the psychiatrist better actually decreasing my little mcdole drastically because i haven't been taking it and that's just me being honest so i go through periods where i take it and then where i don't thankfully i was validated i know you guys love that word she said it's very common for people um that experience medicine anxiety, who have depression, especially who goes through like super high highs and low lows. So she said it's common that people start just not taking their medicine and that was me. So I was like super honest about it. And she was like, you know what? We're gonna start you at the lowest level again. You're gonna do that for two weeks and then we're gonna raise it higher. Lamictal is not one to mess with. So that is my fault, but yeah, and I'm probably just gonna like look around Walmart. It's been a hot minute. My breathing is drastically better. My pain's better. My ankle's better. I can finally like be me, be free just a little bit. I do have COVID anxiety still, 
but I just, I don't know. This whole lung thing, because I really was expecting the worst, um, because cancer was thrown around a lot by professionals, and I've had cancer before, so it wouldn't be surprising if I had it again, but thankfully I don't, okay? <laughs> Let's put out good, good energy. But um, I don't know, just like the whole scare just made me realize like how short life really is. And I know I should have thought that way when I was diagnosed with uterine cancer and stuff. Um, but I kind of just, why am I rambling? <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I just feel very rambly. Um, I just had a moment where I cried a little bit. Like, I don't know. Life is just short, folks. It truly is. I don't know. We'll talk about that some other time. We don't need to, we don't need to get into it, but I just feel like there's a lot I want to say. But let's not do that right now. Okay. My advice is life short. Go to Walmart. <laughs> Y'all, Pioneer Woman has hairbrushes. I am actually a little bit shooketh. I had no idea she made anything other than like kitchen shit. Okay, spoke too soon. She also has bath poofs. Okay. I am so freaking happy that I found this. Oh my God. They're playing a lot of music here too. They just played the Beatles, but currently there's a commercial. I'm actually looking at, looking at the planners, but I kind of like made my own planner. It's like this website called Plum Paper where you can design your own planner. That's coming on its way because we need a 2023 planner okay there's music bye okay you guys it's time for walmart haul one pumpkin two pumpkin these are like the craft pumpkins so we're gonna paint these i think one lettuce two lettuce some mexican style taco blend cheese shredded of course I swear by these, I have the worst time sleeping, but these Ollie Sleep vitamins, they literally put me to sleep. They like knock me out. Got a all natural ground white turkey, three red onions, Nashville hot style pork rinds, and two of these original pork rinds. One, two, these salt and vinegar pork rinds, one broccoli, Two broccoli, some Donnie Calm fabric softener, the big freezer slider court Ziploc baggies. We ran out of trash bags completely, so we got the 80 count. Feline got this jacket. It's hard to see. This is very weird angle here, but it's super cute and cozy. I got the Healing Through Words. This is one of my most favorite poets. I do not want to butcher their name, so I'm not even gonna try. This is actually a journal where there's like prompts. I'm so excited. I got some pens. This is gonna be for my 2023 planner. I don't buy journals like I used to, but I make sure to buy a journal I know I'm gonna use. I think this is so gorgeous. And it's like this leather material. I absolutely love this journal. And then I did get one more. It says, first you dream, then you do. I thought it was super cute. Just for a funsy moment on a vlog, I got the toy mini brands, which I've never opened before, so I'm excited. And I am a Chucky bitch. So I got these random toy capsule collectibles. I have no idea what's in here, but I will also be opening that for you guys in a vlog. And then last but not least, these are the Precise V7 premium rolling pens. My most favorite that I've been using is the V5, but I figured I would try the V7.